The war may be over, but tensions still remain. The current events are the remnants of a They may be gone, but their really lessons ended. still teach us about the, the cruelty of life and how to use our lives the to tell their messages. To destroy the earth, it seems we must destroy the people. Faith. What drives the power of religion? The drive that gives people a sense of purpose. Many people sacrifice for their religion. However, some also kill. 1996, the First Congo War. Hutu and Tutsi citizens from Rwanda flee to the Democratic Republic of Congo for safety, bringing their killers and violence onto different ground. 1998, the Second Congo War. The infamous Joseph Kony and his Lord's Resistance Army rise to power in the Congo, seeking financial opportunities not seen in his home country, Uganda. Tensions grow over the disagreement of treatment of the citizens of the Congo and cause a dispute over rich Congo land, holding trillions of dollars in natural resources. This started genocide, the Democratic Republic of Congo genocide. Since 1998, violent conflict and poverty in the DRC have killed over 5.4 million men, women, and children. During this time, the Lord's Resistance Army has been occupying, controlling, and manipulating the citizens of DRC for their own financial benefits, extracting resources including gold, diamonds, and oil. Joseph Kony's army would pose as military soldiers and attack civilians during community events such as church. The LRA would decapitate the old, sick, and weak with machetes. They also cut ears, noses, and lips of the victims as warnings of their power and capability. However, during the late 1980s, the LRA first focused their attacks mainly on government troops. Then, starting in 1992, they began concentrating on civilian targets by kidnapping, killing, and raping. The rebels would capture the ones useful to them, especially children and women. These victims would be brought back to the army's base camps, where they would be turned into sex slaves and soldiers. Any hope is hope, and that's exactly what the United to End Genocide organization strives to give the victims of past genocides and the current conflicts that they still face today. What about the United Nations? Yes, they are there too. In fact, the UN organized the largest peacekeeping force ever formed, named Monuk, with 20,000 UN members occupying the Congo. However, even with the presence of the UN in the DRC for over 13 years, the situation has shown no signs of improvement for the civilians or their government. Within these 13 years, however, the genocide has ended. In 2003, a peace treaty was signed but this stopped the genocide, not the violence. The LRA continues to spread violence by destroying the people of Congo and their land each day for their own personal benefits. So why should you care? The destruction of our precious planet that you and your family live on. So why should you care? Things that you use and wear every day are supporting the LRA, including your jewelry and even cell phones. So why should you care? Families are being torn apart and forced to murder each other. So why should you care? Because there's a conflict from a war that never really ended. So why should you care?